I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Input Output Machine. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. So this question comes from one of our subscribers who wants to understand how does it work. So we have taken up three test questions for you and I hope that is going to help you to understand the complete concept. So the question basically is input and output from a machine with two operations. So here we are performing two operations is given below identify the operation. So that is the input. This is the output. And for every input, we are given some output. You need to figure out what are the two operations which should be done so that we get the required output, right? So that is the whole idea. So here we have an input. There it goes. From one, it should give you 20, two should give you 17, three should give you 14, and so on. So we have three questions which are kind of similar with uh, subtle difference, right? So this is one of them. And then this is the second question. Well, I'd like you to pause the video, copy these questions, and then work them out. So again, same questions. There are two operations. You need to operate identify these operations right so one and the second operations you have to figure out what happens first and then what happens to give you the required output perfect so you can actually pause the video copy this try it and then i'll begin with the third question which is uh, which is right here okay so this is the third question which is the final question and uh, we'll begin our work from here. So again, input and output from a machine with two operations is given below. Identify the operations. So we need to identify what is happening, right? So first what happens, then what happens? The result should be as shown here, right? So that is the whole idea. So I hope the process is clear. But how to figure this out is kind of tricky. Okay. Let's look into the inputs. It's just 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. They are going up by 5. They all are multiple of 5. Outputs are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So what could we do? Well, these are much lower, right? So, so they are much lower. What we could do here is in the first step, we could divide by 5, right? So we could divide by 5. So if I divide by 5, these things. Let me make a column here, right? So if I divide by 5, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. But the idea is, from 1, I have to get 3. How do I get 3 from 1 and 4 from 2? Well, clearly, I should add 2. Does it make sense? If I add 2, I get the output 5 for 3, 6 from 2, 7 from 5, 8 from 6. Does it make sense to you, right? So clearly, the machine which we are talking about is what? To every input, we are first dividing by 5 and then we are adding 2, right? So what we are doing here is to every input, we are dividing by 5 and then we are adding 2. So that is how our input output machine is working. Is it clear to you, right? So, so that is how it is working. So I hope you've understood the concept. So we get our operation and you can also write this as explicit rule, right? So sometimes we say explicit rule. So in some books, the question will be, write the explicit rule for this input output operation. So we can say, well, the output is input divided by 5 and then you add 2. Is that correct? So first you do this operation and after that add 2 to get your result. Perfect. So with this in mind, now I think it should not be very difficult to get answers for the other questions. Right? Let's take the next one. Well, in this case, the inputs are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So 
times 3, right? So let's first divide by 3. So if I divide by 3, what do I get? So same operation as we did last time. We get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, how do I get from 1 to 0? Well, I have to take away 1. Does it work? Mm -mm, not for this one. Okay. So that means I have to do something else. Okay. Now, what can I do? You can see here that this is increasing by 4, correct? So this is increasing by 4 each time. So what can I do? I could multiply this by 4 and then it becomes 4, not 0, and then take away 4. Mm -hmm. I could do that. What else can be done? Well, let's think about it. So. 2 times 4 is 8, take away 4, it works. 3 times 4 is 12, take away 4, right? Times 4, take away 4, it is working, right? Okay, so I think we could do that. So it is kind of complicated here. There are more than two operations in this case. So what I will say that if I'm supposed to do this, the way I'm doing at present, so first operation definitely, is to divide by 3 and the next operation which I am doing here is actually combination of two operations. So since it is increasing by 4 not by 1 as in the last case so I'm this number 1 I am multiplying this by 4 and then take away 4 right. So 4 times 2 is 8 take away 4 gives me 4. 3 times 4 is 12 take away 4 is 8 it works so that means this operation is slightly more complicated right I don't want to get into fractions right so we are not doing times 3 divide times 4 divided by 3 right so what we are going to do here is that the first machine divides by 3 second multiplies by 4 and then takes away 4 so that is the sequence of operation so in this case we have the output which is input divided by 3 and then you multiply that by 4 and then you take away 4. Clear? So if I substitute input as let us say next multiple of 3 which is 21 then here I will get 7 and 7 times 4 is 28 and then I'll get 24. It works. Do you see that? it works. So that is how we will be doing it. So I hope you find it interesting. It's slightly more complicated. So the second operation is rather complicated. Okay. So this is the last part of it. We began with this question. I would like you to pause and at least answer this one. Well, in this case, what you see is that the input is in the right sequence. So let's look into the outputs. They are decreasing by three, right? So each time they are decreasing by 3. So we know we have to multiply by negative 3. So the first operation should be times negative 3. Now if I do times negative 3, what do I get here? Times negative 3 will give me negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, negative 12, negative 15 and negative 18. Now, from negative 3, how do I get 20? Wow, I have to add something. So that number to be added is how much? So 23 could work, right? So if I add 20, it will work, correct? So 23, right? It will get 20. So let me write it slightly bigger. So in this case, the first operation performed is definitely multiplying by negative 3 since the pattern is decreasing right so we have a decreasing pattern so what you do here is that you times with negative 3 right you times with negative 3 and then we have to add 23 to get 20 in the first case then you add 23 to get the output perfect so that is how we are going to do this operation so i like you to check the result 
is that clear check the result so by what we have done we get input times so we write sometimes in bracket like this plus 23 provides you the rule and this is the explicit rule and you can find whatever input comes how do we get the output divide the input by negative 3 and then add 23 perfect so that is how you could do it so i hope that really helps also watch my related videos on input output machine that should give you very good idea about this chapter thanks for your time and all the best